This is a bicycle pool ambulance, which I built with some students here at Lemelson as a two-week fabrication seminar when I returned from Namibia. When I was a student here, I worked in the, the Lemelson Assistive Technology Development Center uh, in my academic program while I was here working on appropriate and assistive technology design. And still I'm doing that. I started working locally on bicycle trailer design in this area, which turned into my Div 3, which an organization called Bicycling Empowerment Network in Namibia found and asked me to come and do a bicycle ambulance project. And now what I'm doing is building a set of fixtures, which are tools to align and lay out and drill and cut and weld the parts in place so that the project can be more easily replicated um, and so that, you know, I or potentially somebody else could set up a workshop in perhaps a so-called developing country to produce bicycle ambulances with high quality more easily than could be produced if everything had to be measured by hand. This is going to fit right on top of these tubes, just like so. If you can make a product easier to build right, easier to build with higher accuracy and quality than it is to build wrong, then, then it'll end up being built right. That is the function of good fixture design. And in this context, these fixtures can enable different communities in a variety of workshop environments to use work that's been done previously to build high quality bicycle ambulances while still allowing for sort of the ability for the project to be customized. So in a sense, it propagates the effort that I've already put in. If I'm working outside the context of my own community, then the most important participation that I can have is as a facilitator of a process within that organization or within that group of people, instead of creating independence or expectations on my participation. I wanted to make sure that the design work that I was doing, that I am doing, meets the needs of the users in a way that might be impossible for me to understand directly, but within the framework that Hampshire College teaches, and I think teaches well about participatory design process, I can ask questions and I can work in such a way that even if I don't have the cultural understanding of the environment in which this product might be used, I can be responsive to um, those particular conditions as a designer.